From a very young age, we're all taught that when we work harder, when we do more, put more effort into something, we get more out of it. In school, you're taught the more you study, the more time and effort you put into learning these skills, the better you'll do on your test. We're taught in our careers, our jobs, whatever field you work in, the more time, the more effort you put into leveling yourself up, the more you get out of it. And this applies to most areas of life. Even for my business, the more time, effort, energy, focus I put into it, the more I get out of it, the more clients, the more income. And the same probably goes for you in most areas of your life. But today I wanna to discuss with you the biggest misconception when it comes to your health and fitness journey, which is that it's not the same way. More is not always better. Doing more cardio, cutting out more foods, doing more work in the gym, does not equal better result. And so I'm gonna break down some of the experiences I've had with myself, as well as with my clients that have taught me this lesson time and time again. And I won't lie, it's something I've had to hear and learn and experience a few times before I really understood. So to save you that frustration, to save you the time and energy you put into your journey, I hope you can take something away from this video that will have tremendous value on your journey so you don't have to make the same mistakes I did. So enjoy. And just in case you're new here, my name is Coach Tyler. I've been an online coach and personal trainer for the past six years, and I'm going to use that experience to help you on your health and fitness journey. So let's dive into the video. Before I move forward, I just want to say if you can take a moment to subscribe or like or follow this on whatever platform you're listening to this episode, it would mean the absolute world to me. So the main reason I was compelled to share this video with you was because I had a few conversations over the past week with clients or even past clients that approached me saying, hey, I'm stuck. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing results. Well, one thing that I've realized with a few of these people, as well as myself, is that when your stress levels are super high, when you are working out consistently for a long period of time, the answer isn't always just add more. Sometimes the answer is actually take away. When things aren't adding up, subtract. And one of the biggest things that I noticed with this particular client I was talking to was she just went through a lot in her personal life. She was extremely stressed out. And when you are super stressed, you're also adding more stress by working out. And what's crazy is that people don't really realize, but working out is a stressor on the body. So is the stress you deal with in your day-to-day -day life, your kids, your family, your friends, your relationship. And then you have stress from work and people in your office or people that work around you or the stress of having to do daily tasks at your job. What people don't know is that stress adds up over time and too much is not good and it's actually gonna set you backwards. So even if you're only doing a little bit in the gym, over stressing your body is not a good thing because you cannot adapt to that stress. So we need to find the sweet spot that appropriate amount of stress on the body. That is what's gonna tell your body, hey, I want to adapt to this level of stress. That's essentially what working out is. It is consistently slightly overstressing the body so your body can adapt and grow and build from that stress. So in my own journey, when I first started, I was doing full body workouts three days a week. And what I slowly learned over time was that, oh, if I add a little bit more, I will essentially build more muscle. Well, you can't do that forever. Adding, 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 adding. Eventually my workouts were like two hours long, three days a week. And what I realized is that, man, I wasn't seeing any more progress. And I was trying to figure out why. I always thought more was better. When I put more time into school, I got better results in terms of my test scores and my grades. When I put more time into my business, I got better clients. I got more clients and I made more income. But that's not how it works for fitness. So one of the first things I wanna discuss is listening to your body. Your body is extremely smart. It knows way more than you think. And a lot of the times, the signs and signals are less known, but also very apparent when you start to pay attention to them. For example, if you constantly are not able to sleep, you have a hard time going to sleep at night, well, it could be your caffeine intake, or you could be overly stressed. 
from maybe workouts or work or personal life. Now, that stress is going to accumulate over time and it's going to be overstimulating your body, preventing you from falling asleep. So maybe backing off the workouts a little bit will actually produce better results. One of the biggest signs and signals that you'll see from overstressing the body, which is slightly different for men and women, but very common to see is for women, sometimes it will be losing their menstrual cycle, which is a sign that your body is not in a place or comfortable to procreate, which is ultimately a bad sign that your body is not healthy or safe. For both sexes, for both men and women, something we'll see is a low sex drive, low energy. And those things are big signs that you're doing too much or that you're overly stressing the body. So in the case that you get to a place on your journey where you feel like you are overstressed, you are doing too much, you're working out five, six, seven days a week, you're doing too much, you're stressing out your body beyond what it can adapt to. This is where we need to take note and realize that less is more. I only work out three days a week for a reason because I don't think that you need more than that. Rest days are essential. You do not build muscle in the gym. You build muscle when you are resting, recovering, and adapting to that stimulus you put on your body. So take more rest days. Don't be afraid to take a step out of the gym. Now, it doesn't mean you need to go sit on your ass and do nothing. This means you can go to the gym, sure, and you can do some mobility, you can get some walking, do some steps, but you need to give your body time, space to rest so you can recover from your workouts. If you do this properly, I can almost guarantee you're going to see better results because you're not going to be overstressing your body. Less is more sometimes, and too much is too much for your body. You cannot just consistently do more in order to see results because if anything, that will actually make you go backwards. And with all that being said, I hope today you were able to take away one thing, which is that more is not always better when it comes to your fitness journey. And I just wanna say thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today. It means the absolute world to me and I hope you have an amazing day. We'll talk to you soon, peace.